secrecy. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but well, but, is it good? let's is it good? just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. Uh, uh, unreal segment. Uh. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Oh. Now don't move it. Wires. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. Nicholas De Silva, chief field agent. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. <gasps> this prompts only one thing. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this is gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth? I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. And now we are in the Sounds building. like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. And here we are in the bureau. The bureau's office. Ah, oh, cut seats! Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. Vigilo Confido. Oh, 
Will, wake up. What? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. What did I say? Something about a fire. I don't know. I guess after the morning you had, it makes sense. No, this wasn't about that. It wasn't about Grim Range. Well, my guess is you're not the only one having nightmares after this morning. Head shrinking's gonna be a big business after this war. <laughs> if there isn't after this war. Oh, Christ, that was dark. Anyway, Falk's <laughs> looking for you. Wants you in his office, ASAP. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Five. Damn thing's doing November. it again. November. Carter, you hearing this? Yeah, I'm hearing it all right. Two. Message repeats. Two. Five, zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of the Eight, radio operators. Nine, you probably ought to run that by Operator Chelsky across the hall. Repeats. Might be important. Two, five, zero. Report the signal to Chelsky, who is over here. You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. For now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. I'll try not to distract you too much. As long as you have a good reason. What do you need, sir? Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but... I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. That's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 155 kilohertz. Checking low frequency. Try again. I know there's a message out there. If you say so. First set the range to... It's 250. Set I know the range 250 to 250. November. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? This one. Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is... It's survivors. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information spreading. As long as they get rescued. Ta-da! And that, my friend, is a first case. Now, uh... Just running it over to the armory. Now, what we can do in the uh, base... Oh yeah, by the way, this is the Bureau base, so... This is basically our central hub for pretty much all of the game. So I'm just gonna quickly run over some uh, things real quick. Over this way is the armory, uh, the Sky Ranger Bay, the, in the infirmary, and the science lab, which we'll be accessing later. Over here is the the map of the USA, and the control panel right here in the center is where we do our uh, is where we plan our missions and assign agents and whatnot. We'll do that later. Oh, I forgot to mention over in that over through that doorway. That's also the crew quarters and the briefing room where we can recruit agents. Uh, assign them their class and customize their look a little. Uh, and up you here were is there. You saw what he was capable of. I did. It's just his file paints a different picture. Okay, agents, let's begin. We going on another wild goose chase, director? Not this time, agent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because I brought in an expert agent who I expect to turn. I've read all these notes. Uh -huh. Speak again, of so. the devil. Carter, good. Agent Weaver is afraid you don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. And with that, my friends, I think I'll call this one an episode. Uh, if you like 
this is going to be a new series, by the way. So if you like the video, rate, comment, subscribe. Come over here, Carter. I'd like a word. Shut up, Director Falk. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will most likely be in the session after this one. Ciao.